Welcome back to the C News Report. 90 years of continuous community service. That's the claim to fame for a humble temple in Spring Village in Balmain, Kuva, which on Sunday celebrated its anniversary with its annual Mela. Ricky Gokul was there and Roger Dwarka has this report. This sacred ground has been the place for Hindu devotion by the thousands of worshippers who've knelt, bowed and prayed in its deity's reverence. For the devotees here, this mandir is more than just a concrete building that originated from earthen walls and thatch. And every year we do very well. We get a lot of contributions from corporate people also, I have to say, from around the area. And even from far field, people contribute and they help us. And so we like to show what we are doing with the funds. In 1925, the country was still under British rule. The world was only a decade into recovering from the First World War. Queen Elizabeth was just one year old, and the last of the indentured Indian labourers arrived in the colony in 1919 to cultivate sugarcane and build villages and temples, like this one in Spring Village, almost a century ago. Today, Spring Village is a thriving, bustling community where locals, through the temple, still practice the tradition of charity and helping one's neighbour, traits which began with their ancestors right here. If there's a, a member of our congregation or in the community who is not, who needs help, for example financial, for health reasons or so, we try to assist. And this is, this is where our emphasis really is. You know, we do a lot of spiritual activities. The temple's annual mela raises funds for the most needy in the community while providing the fun element for the families and children. But as Dr. Moll told us, they try to also create well-rounded citizens from an early age through spiritual guidance, support and even financial help, which echo the sacred ancestry of their forefathers. Roger Dwarako, C News.